In this video, I will discuss how can you evaluate improper integral of type 1. To do that, we need to know some definitions. For example, this definition, the improper integral of a function f over this interval a to infinity is defined to be this. We know this integral is improper because of its upper limit. Now the question is how can we evaluate it a to infinity fx dx this integral is improper. Now how can we evaluate it and what, what is the technique? In this case this infinity makes the integral improper. So if you can replace this infinity by a finite number b then this integral will be a proper integral. Now what is the relation between b and infinity? This b is a very large number which is approximate to infinity. So this relation we can define by limit. Limit b is tends to b is approximate to infinity. So this definition will help us to calculate an improper integral of type 1. So what you need to do you just need to replace upper limit infinity by a very large number b. b is a finite number but which is approximate to infinity and this approximation we mathematically can define by a limit value of this integration and if this limit exists then the improper integral is said to be converged to a particular value and that value the result of this integration or the limit the limit we will obtain from here limit value is said to be value of this integral the limit is defined to be the value of this integral however if this limit does not exist then we say the integral is said to be diverse and in that case the integral has no value so let me say it again you need to replace this infinity by a finite number b which is approximate to infinity to make the improper integral a proper integral now this integral is proper you can evaluate this integral like before and finally you need to put the limit value you need to replace b by infinity if this limit uh, exists and the limit is defined to be the value of this integral and if limit does not exist we say the integral is diverse and in that case the integral has no value now uh, for example let us evaluate this integral 1 to infinity 1 by x squared dx is equal to what but in our previous video i said this result will be 1 and we know this uh, from our previous video now how this improper integral the result of this improper integral will be 1 let us evaluate this integral by using this definition so by using this definition we need to replace upper limit infinity by a large number b and this b is approximate to infinity limit b tends to infinity of course positive infinity 1 by x square dx now this integral this integral is proper integral so you can evaluate it like before but you need to write you need to put this limit b tends to infinity x to the power how can you integrate it x to the power negative 1 divided by negative 1 1 to b and this equal limit 
b tends to infinity if you put upper limit it will be negative so let me write it here minus 1 by x 1 to b and this equal limit b tends to infinity 1 if you put upper limit it will be minus 1 by b so the result will be 1 minus 1 by b now you need to put or replace b by infinity finally 1 minus 1 by infinity and we know 1 by infinity equal to 0 so the result will be 1 so the result of this integral is 1 let us solve another problem 1 to infinity 1 by x cube dx let us evaluate it uh, by definition we can write limit b tends to infinity because we want to replace infinity by b 1 by x squared dx sorry x cube dx and this equal limit b tends to infinity 1 by x cube the integration will be x to the power negative 2 divided by negative 2 1 to b and this equal limit b tends to infinity if we put b it will be <coughs> minus one half one by b square minus minus will be plus one half and this equal limit b tends to infinity one half minus one by two b square and this equal half if you put replace b by infinity it will be 1 by infinity which will be 0 so the area of this integral is half and since the limit exists so we can say the integral converges to half and this half is the value of this integral this half is the value of this integral and similarly I can solve another example 1 to infinity 1 by x dx which is equal we know integration of 1 by x equal to ln x so by definition we first need to use the definition 1 to b 1 by x dx and this equal limit b tends to infinity integration of 1 by b equal ln b ln x integration of 1 by x equal to ln x 1 to b now if you put the upper limit it will be ln b minus ln 1 which is equal to 0 ln 1 we know 0 now ln infinity will be infinity so this is the result which means this integral has this integral diverges to infinity and it has no value let me say it again this integral diverges to in plus infinity and the, it has no value this integral has no value now the third example for which value of p this integral converges we know from our previous example if p equal to 1 then the integral diverges to infinity the p equal to 1 the integral diverges to infinity it has no value it means the integral diverges 
so what happened when p either greater than 1 or less than 1 that you need to calculate so to calculate it we need to use our definition 1 to infinity 1 by x to the power p dx this equal limit b tends to infinity 1 to b x to the power negative p dx I can write 1 by x to the power p x to the power negative p now the integration of this one is x to the power negative p plus 1 divided by minus p plus 1 1 to b limit b tends to infinity so this equal limit b tends to infinity I can write uh, 1 by 1 minus p x to the power 1 minus p 1 to b now if I put the upper limit it will be what it will be 1 by 1 minus p x to the b to the power b to the power 1 minus p and if I put the lower limit it will be 1 if I replace x by lower limit it will be 1 so the result will be what limit b tends to infinity I can I can write 1 by 1 by 1 minus p or b to the power 1 minus p this is p b to the power 1 minus p minus 1 by 1 minus p and this equal I can also write let me simplify b tends to infinity b to the power 1 minus p divided by 1 minus p plus if I put plus here then I can write instead of 1 minus p I can write p minus 1 now what happened when p is greater than 1 or less than 1 p greater than 1 we know two condition p greater than 1 we know when p equal to 1 the integral diverges and what happened when p greater than 1 or less than 1 if p greater than 1 then uh, this result will be what let's say p equal to 2 then it will be b to the power 1 minus 2 which is 1 by b now if you put infinity for b it will be 0 so for p greater than 1 the first term will be 0 and second term you can write here 1 by 1 minus p however when p less than 1 then what happened let's say p equal to 0 less than 1 means 0 so the numerator of first term will be what b to the power 1 minus 0 which is b and if you put b tends to infinity it will be infinity so the, the first term will be infinity infinity plus something will be infinity so this result will be infinity it means the integral diverges now if I accumulate all results uh, 1 to infinity 1 by x to the power p dx then what happened you see 1 by p 1 minus p if p greater than 1 however 
it is infinity if p less than or equal to 1 if from our previous example we know when p equal to 1 I mean this integration 1 to infinity 1 by if p equal to 1 then it will be 1 by x dx and we know this equal infinity so this equal infinity and here we know when p less than 1 this integral again infinity so this integral the question is for which value of p <coughs> for which value of p this integral converges this integral converges the answer will be what for p greater than 1 this is the result for p greater than 1 the integral converges to 1 by 1 minus p and this is the value of this integral however the integral diverges or infinity instead of infinity you can put diverges the integral diverges if p less than or equal to 1 you can say 1 to infinity 1 by x to the power p dx is equal 1 by 1 minus p if p greater than 1 and instead of putting infinity you can say diverges the integral diverges if p less than or equal to 1 and that's all in this video in our next video i will again discuss improper integral of type 1 because we need to define another definition when the lower limit is negative infinity and again when both lower limit and upper limit will be infinity then how can we evaluate these types of integral so this definition i will discuss in our next video and then i will again discuss some other example to understand this definition thank you very much for your watching